as you can see, my stuff is due, and uh, been working on some changes and doing some stuff. Uh, here's a sneak peek into some stuff. Some people already seen some stuff. You've seen it in my uh, in my break ads. So, live beer breaks is coming one of these days. I'm not sure when, but I'm trying to get away from the uh, sneakerhead theme. It's more for sneakers, tennis shoes. Nikes, Yeezys, Adidas, New Balance, all that good stuff. And what's the main reason for the, today's, uh, today's short video is Stone Cold Steve Austin has made its way back to me. A little bit of a timeline of a rundown here. Uh, let's see, I shipped this card out on February 27th. Or, no, sorry, one day after my birthday, January 27th. It arrived at PSA, which is, there's, I guess they're in California. I arrived to California on February the 1st. So went through all the stuff there, got greeted, got packed up, shipped back to me, and it was back in the post office yesterday. But I didn't go to the post office yesterday, so I had picked it up today. And I have not looked at it. I did open this box because it is uh, packed up very well. And I didn't want to spend all day <laughs> opening the box on, on the camera here. So, Let's see if this does open up. They do a pretty good job of packing up here. The box is very, uh, very rugged. A lot of, a lot of uh, stuff here. Let's see if we can take it out. A lot of uh, PSA branding, obviously. <laughs> All right, well, that is the slab in there. This is my first uh, first rodeos through PSA, so I don't actually want to see what it is. All right, so it's on that side. There you go. If you guys don't remember, I did pull this card out of a select a WWE blaster box. It is the Stone Cold Steve Austin uh, Black Gold One of One. Trying to see if there's. You see some scratching right down the middle of the card, which I did not see when I before I shipped it uh, shipped it off. So it's probably not gonna it's definitely not gonna be a ten for sure. <laughs> the corners, I mean the the corners of I thought were good, but like I said, I'm not PSA and that just seeing that stuff there. It looks like that's on the card. If it's on the card, it's it's a shame because this card was packed, obviously in a blaster pack. It was the back card because when I opened the pack, I did see the one of one. I did not see who it was. Uh, so this was actually on the pack, on the back. So there's no card rubbing up against it, as far as transit goes. It was just rubbing against the other stuff. So. I'm not sure where they put the stuff. Okay, so it's over here. From what I could tell, the front, front looked pretty good. I didn't do any prep to this, so I didn't didn't wipe it down for. I did. I mean, I, I looked at for fingerprints, or whatever. I didn't see any. The corners looked good to me. I didn't. I didn't see anything major. So. This is pack fresh, straight out of the pack into a uh, sleeve and off to PSA. And here we go. Hmm. <laughs> P 
PSA 8. Not what I wanted, obviously. I've heard different things about a PSA 8. Some people say it's worse than selling as raw, which is kind of hard to believe. I mean, but I guess it's true. A 9 would have been better. A 10 would have been awesome. So now I have to figure out what to do with the card. If you got any uh, suggestions, let me know. I'd, I could break it out of this, try to clean it up, or resubmit to a different grading company or whatever. I mean, I don't. To me, this card cost me you know, 30 bucks. So, well, now it cost me an extra 105 for sending it to PSA. But I mean, it's still worth uh, considerably more than that, even in a PSA 8. They put this card at uh, $1,700. On the uh, thing raw, so I still say it should be worth around that. I don't know. I could be totally wrong, but still a nice card, and it may not be. I mean, I may not sell it. So we'll see. I like Stone Cold. I've always liked them. That's it for this one. I'll be making another video shortly.